It's the NFL on EA Sports, and there's no love lost between these NFC South foes. We can hardly wait for the start of this one, and it's all up next. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to North Carolina and the bustling city of Charlotte as we welcome you inside Bank of America Stadium, the home of the Panthers. Set for a good matchup in the NFC South. So glad you're with us, Mike Tirico, Greg Olson. Greg, this is a division you know a lot about, and the rivalries within this division always kind of gives you a good game when it's NFC South against NFC South. Yeah, and this is a division, Mike, that I've lived in for a long time in my career. And at one point, you can make the argument that it was the best division in football. But right now, it's the quarterback uncertainty. Do we have the quarterback of our future? Did we just draft one? Did we just sign one? What does that look like? Two of the four teams, brand new coaches taking over control to start this season. No division won fewer games last season. They've got a lot of work to do before this division can hold the candle to some of the others we see throughout the NFL. And he's down at the 23, and that's where the offense will take over. The Buccaneers led out by their quarterback, Baker Mayfield. He was in Cleveland and Carolina and then with the Rams. But now year two, and it feels like he's found a home. Greg here with the Buccaneers. One thing about this guy is he epitomizes the word resiliency. After a promising start to his NFL career, he hit a major wall. I mean, he was essentially, Mike, discarded by the entire league to the point where many felt he was destined to just be a career backup. However... Once he got that second chance, he took it and ran with it. Now that his career is back on track, he's... Ah, uh, right away, they're coming after him, and they get him. A sack on the opening snap of the game. Now, following that sack, we have a player who was injured. Not something you want to see in the opening minute of the game. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. They'll run with the third-year man. It's Rashad White. And he nearly got free. But as it is, gain of six. And it sets up third down. They send Evans in motion. From the gun on third down, it's Mayfield. That is caught. He got Godwin. And he'll be brought down, but not before they get this all the way up near midfield. It's a really important conversion right there, Mike, because you just don't want to go three and out on the road, especially on your opening possession of the game. You want to let your offense get some rhythm, establish and unfold some of the game plan you've set up coming in. They're going to have a fresh set of downs here and now say, okay, can we turn this good start of a drive and finish the drive with some points? They send Godwin in motion. Mayfield to throw it here on first down. It's complete to Evans. And the tackle is going to be made down at the 40 yard line. Here's first and 10. Here comes White on the toss right. They converge on him quickly. He'll only get a couple. Xavier Woods there on the stop. Look him up on a second down and eight. Here comes Otten in motion. Baker gonna hand it to White. And that one shut down pretty quickly. 
He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. Nothing more. Depending on the situation or the down and distance, Mike, the linebackers have different reads. Sometimes they read the offensive lineman. Sometimes they read the running back. In this case, his read brings him right to the play. He's able to make a big stop and keep the game to nothing. Here comes Otten in motion. From the gun, it's Mayfield. He'll find his running back, White. And a good job here defensively. They did not let him get away. He's well short of the first down marker. On fourth down, Chase McLaughlin in for the Bucks. This one from 52 yards away. McLaughlin's kick is good. And the Buccaneers are out to an early 3-0 lead. And that's a good drive right out of the gate. They're able to make some plays, move the ball down the field. I know they didn't get a touchdown, but that is a good positive result. points on that opening drive we'll see the response as the kicks away this taken in at the eight yard line he'll get this up to the 28 yard line nice place for the drive to start the panthers now ready to get to work on offense for the first time they are led out by the veteran the one they call the red rifle dating back to his old days at tcu it's andy dalton the man known around the league as the Red Rifle. And what an NFL career he's had up until this point, Mike. I mean, think back. At one point, he's the Pro Bowl quarterback routinely leading his team to the playoffs. Now, he's the experienced backup. He's bringing a lot of veteran presence to every locker room he finds himself. And one thing's for certain, when he gets a shot to play in the game, you could certainly do a lot worse than having him in your starting lineup. Certainly not the biggest play of the day, but a good example of picking up positive yardage, staying ahead of the chains by a well-timed ball and a well-timed route. Second and a yard. On the ground, it's the rookie from UT. And he'll work his way for about four yards. And that's good enough for a first down. They'll motion over Thielen. Dalton. To get this complete, it's Thielen over the middle. They'll come up here on second down and five. Here's Dalton. Oh, and this one's going to wind up incomplete. That's one you'd think he'd be able to corral. But he can't find the handle, and it's going to lead to a third down. Defense got lucky on that one. There's no one accounting for the running back out of the backfield as they should have. And fortunately for them, he bails him out by not securing the catch. Now Dalton. Catch made by Thielen. That's catch three just on this drive. And it gets his team a first down. Nice job there. Getting the ball to your slot receiver and then letting him get to work. It's a nice feeling as a quarterback when you can just have a short throw still result in a big game. to go now on first and ten. Dalton to throw. They go right back to Thielen. Again, it's complete. And they'll get about four here as he is taken down. 
So they have these rules for the receivers, Mike. They call them green grass rules. And the idea is if you're running across the field and you're looking at the quarterback, you're going to stay on the run. If you're not looking at the quarterback, that tells him, I'm going to sit in this soft zone. I'm going to what they call punch and pivot and stop. And that tells the quarterback to put the ball on your chest. That nonverbal communication between the receiver and the quarterback recognizing when you're open, stay open, that's the stuff that makes a lot of these offenses so difficult to defend. Really nice job by this running back here, Mike. I don't think this play was blocked particularly well. I think it was a combination of his patience and then his speed around the left side to not only pick up the first down, but pick up good yardage while he was at it. That one complete. It's Ian Thomas. And he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. A good spot here, second and a yard. Moving the tight end right. On second down, a run with Hubbard. And not much there. He's back to the original line. No gain on that one. Now the offensive coordinator's got a decision on his hand, Mike. It was second and one. He decides to go with a conservative run. Gets stopped for no gain. He's in the exact same position now on third down. Does he try to change it up, or does he just turn around and hand it off again? He'll try to run for it with Hubbard. And he will score. Chuba Hubbard. Touchdown, Panthers. Just a great way to finish off a drive, and it was something they thought they had a matchup advantage all week long was in the ground game, and... You can see here, they executed at the offensive line. He got some nice blocks downfield from his wide receivers and tight ends, and he was able to do the rest. On now, Eddie Pinheiro for the extra point. He's got it. The Panthers move out to a 7-3 lead. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. Now return coming from the seven. Nice job by the return team as he takes it across the 30-yard line. The Buccaneers offense ready to get going with their second possession. They trail by four, a touchdown gives them the lead. Drive begins with first and ten. Here comes Otten in motion. The drive begins with a run by White. Still fighting. What a run. Shedding tacklers. Picks up nine on the play. They send Godwin in motion. On second down, Baker to the left side, to Godwin. And that's going to be a first down. A pickup of nine. Out of the shotgun, Mayfield. That pass complete to the veteran, Sterling Shepard. They get 10 yards on the hook up there. It's a first down for Tampa Bay. The 
They motion a receiver right. On first and ten, here's Baker. This pass is caught by Cade Otten. And they bring him down, but not until they get inside the 30-yard line. Boy, some bulk in the formation on that right side here for first and ten. Throwing is Mayfield. A throw left side, but it's incomplete. And that sideline just cannot believe their guy did not come down with that play. I mean, that's as easy as it gets. I frankly don't blame him. I mean, that's a play at this level you just have to make. Your teammates are dependent on They'll try again here, second and ten. They send Godwin in motion. A second down throw for Mayfield. This one is caught by Shepard. And he takes it down to the 15-yard line. First and ten. They send Godwin in motion. Mayfield to throw on first and ten. Godwin working the right side. And he will get into the end zone. Chris Godwin. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. This is a great decision by the quarterback. You can see, Mike, he's trying to push this ball downfield and pick up a big completion in the air, but with the amount of depth the defense was getting, his best option was the check down, the underneath short throw, and just say, hey, pick up this rest of this game with your legs after the catch. And fortunately for this quarterback, this short throw is going to go down in the box score as a touchdown. On is Chase McLaughlin for the extra point. He gets it to go, and the Bucks are on top. It's now 10 to 7. Teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. From the six, here comes a return. And they'll bring him down just shy of the 30-yard line. The Panthers offense ready to see what they can do on their second possession. They'll begin with first and ten. They'll start this one with a three tight end look. Get this drive started on the ground. It's Hubbard. And he is fortunate to get past the line of scrimmage. Call it a yard at most. Levante David doing his work on defense. Here's second and nine. Receiver in motion, going right. Now it's Dalton. He's got a man. It's the former Steeler, Deontay Johnson. So from the 39, they come up on first and 10. They'll motion the tight end, Thomas. To throw is Dalton. Catch made right side by Thomas. And it'll be taken down, but it takes them across midfield down to the 40-yard line. The break, the huddle, coming up now for first and 10.
A touchdown apiece here in the first quarter of play. 10-7 is the score. And we'll return to Charlotte in a moment. They'll come up first and 10 at the 40. Throwing, Dalton. That one pinballs around, but it is incomplete. Deontay Johnson, the intended target there. And it'll bring up second down. There is no worse feeling either coming back to the huddle or the sideline after a big drop. And that was a beautifully designed play, perfectly placed ball, and he just couldn't make the grab. Back to the air one more time. This one on target for Johnson. And he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five. Here now, third and five. Sending a receiver right. On third down, they'll set up to throw. And that is incomplete. I'd say one of the most critical elements of a dynamic offense, Mike, is how efficient are you on third down? It's something these teams stress all week. Here's an opportunity to continue to extend this drive. The defense wins this time and brings up fourth down. Pinheiro's kick is good. And the Panthers will level the score at 10 apiece. And that's really well done here, Mike. I mean, everything's in rhythm. A good snap, a good hold, and a good kick ties this game. All level at 10 as this one's kicked off. This will be returned from the six. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The Bucks offense and receiver Chris Godwin set to take over again. They'll see if they can go about breaking our tie. We're all even at 10 as this drive begins first and 10. Baker to throw. Down the field, it's Evans. And he'll be taken down all the way up past the 45. Well, so often we see quarterbacks standing in the pocket, holding it, seeing if they can create something downfield. Well, not that play. That play was simple. Snap the ball to the quarterback, spit it out into the hands of your receiver, and let's see what he can do. Here comes Otten in motion. Mayfield to throw it here on first down. He'll find his running back, White. And he will not get away. Terrific open field tackle. Gets him down behind the line. I think this play is a direct result of his film study. He knew exactly where that ball was going before the play was snapped. And that play recognition, man, it separates a lot of guys in this league and results in a negative play. Throwing on second down, Mayfield. And that one incomplete. Back in the day, Mike, you know how they decided who played offense and who played defense? The guys who caught the ball better played offense and the guys who couldn't play defense. And now, that's obviously not the case anymore. But this is one of those that still gives defensive players a bad rap. From the gun on third down, it's Mayfield. Remember, he had the touchdown catch the last time they had the football. Here, he's got a first down.
Here comes Otten in motion. On first down is Mayfield. That's caught left side by Otten. And they're going to take this into the red zone to the 15-yard line. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. From the gun, it's Mayfield. He finds his tight end, Keith. We'll try again. It's second and 10. To throw is Mayfield. He'll go right and find his running back. And the Buccaneers are going to have a first and goal coming up as they try to finish off this drive with six points. These are the worst. I, I had a couple years, Mike, where I swear I got tackled inside the one-yard line ten times. And then you look back and you're like, man, how many touchdowns did I leave on the board because I couldn't get one more yard. Now, for him individual. Over the top! He's got it! Chris Godwin! Touchdown, Tampa! His second TD of the game, and this one gives his team the lead. It seems to me they were kind of holding this play call for this exact situation, Mike. First and goal, down here near the goal line, and they had this one worked up all week. Simple pitch and catch, and it works to perfection. McLaughlin now for the extra point. He knocks it through. And the Buccaneers go up by seven. It is now 17 to 10. The kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away Raheem Blackshear on the return and he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28 yard line the Panthers offense getting their final instructions before heading back onto the field they find themselves trailing 17 to 10 now as they come up with first down and 10 Here's Dalton. He's going to take a shot down the field. And this will be incomplete. The pass intended for Xavier Leggett. And that will lead to a second down. You know, Mike, there's the saying in the NFL, take what the defense gives you. But that's not always the case. Sometimes you have to force a ball downfield. Show the defense you are willing to take big shots even though they weren't able to connect, it's going to have an impact the rest of the game. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. They nearly connected on the big play downfield, but he's not quite able to hold on to that ball through the contact. You can chalk that one up as a win defensively. Dalton. complete to Thomas that's his third catch of this first half and good enough for a first down third down is when we see so many tight ends around the league really make their money they operate in the middle of the field they're a big easy target for the quarterback and even if they are covered Mike they're not really ever covered First down, it is Hubbard. And he'll push his way ahead for a gain of two. 
Levante David doing his work on defense. Second down and eight. Another run here with Hubbard. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. One of the key factors for having success in the run game, Mike, is winning at the point of attack. And what that means is every play, the linemen and all the blockers, they understand where the back is going to start and then where the back could end up. And having a good understanding of that and how it pertains to the defense is how you gain your advantage to have big plays like this. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. He was seeking out the veteran Adam Thiel in that time. And it'll be second down. Linebackers in general have the reputation of being very instinctive players. And I think we saw it there on that last pass breakup. The ability to diagnose and read the play almost before it even starts. It allows them to be in the right spot at the right time and allows them to make the play. And a good run there on second down. A pickup of seven. It'll bring up third and three. It's tough to completely celebrate, Mike, when you don't pick up the first down, but that's a run you will take every single time. I mean, good yardage in a lot of situations, it'll get you the first down, just not here. They'll throw here on third and short. Oh, that's the one thing they couldn't have there, the sack that might take them out of field goal range. Every time a quarterback is sacked, everyone kind of looks around at the offensive line and like, oh, come on, guys, pick it up. I don't think this was on the O-line at all. I think the quarterback is holding on to the ball too long. You know what they say, Mike? Sacks? Those are quarterback stats. On fourth down, the longtime special teams ace, Johnny Hecker, on to punt. This one angles out of bounds, and the mark comes inside the 15 yard line. The Bucks offense headed back to take over once more. This will begin at their own 13 yard line, so work to do starting with this first and 10. He'll start this on the ground and here's white and he'll get two on this one before being taken down on second down baker a pass it's complete it's Shepard. They'll come up to third and three. Here's Mayfield working from the pistol. And he's going to get awfully close to the first down marker, but appears just to be a few inches short. The initial reaction is, how does this quarterback not throw the ball past the first down line to gain to try to extend this drive? And the reality is, because they've already decided they're going to go for it on fourth down. If he doesn't pick up the extra yards after the catch, they've got a fourth down play call they feel great about. And we're going to see what it looks like. So on fourth down, time to kick it away. Jake Camarda to do the honors. Amir Smith-Marset goes back to return it. And that's a nice job of getting to him, making sure that return was not going anywhere. The Panthers' offense and their back, Chuba Hubbard, set to come back on the field. They trail here by a touchdown as this drive will start with a first down.
They'll motion the tight end, Thomas. Dalton to throw. This one hauled in by Thomas. And he's not going to get too far tackled after a gain of just a yard. Here's a second and nine. Now Dalton. On the right side and corralled by Thielen. And that'll go for a gain of seven. And it's going to set up third down. They'll motion the tight end, Thomas. Off the play fake. He'll look to throw. Oh, and that throw not able to be pulled in. It's incomplete. Looked like he may have got a little ahead of himself there. And it's going to bring up fourth down. And on that third down, they thought an easy way to pick it up and get some positive yards would go to their quick game. But it didn't seem like the receiver and the quarterback were on the same page. And now brings up fourth down. And great coverage on special teams. They'll mark it down inside the five-yard line. Baker Mayfield and the Bucks ready to get back to work. And he has done everything you could ask of him coming into this one. He spread it around, hasn't taken many chances, and potentially on his way to a big game throwing the football. An unbalanced look to the left. Here on first down. Now Mayfield. Little short pass here. Caught by his tight end. Here's second and six. On the ground, this is White. And he'll work his way up past the 10 to the 15. That's good enough to give him some breathing room and give him a first down. Two minutes to go here till halftime. Back with more from Charlotte after this. They'll come up here first and ten. Out of the shotgun, Mayfield. This one is caught by Shepard. A very nice open field tackle there. He could not get free and gains nothing. Second down throw for Mayfield. Godwin working the right side. And a good one here. He'll be marked down up past the 25-yard line. Every quarterback's dream is, can I get the ball out of my hand as fast as possible and get it to a guy that can do the rest after the catch? And it seems like nowadays throughout the entire league, the best offenses thrive in yards after the catch. Open man downfield, that's Godwin. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. They send Evans in motion. Mayfield to throw on first and ten.
They'll work now on second and four. Now Mayfield. Right back to Evans. He's got it again. And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. Receiver in motion, headed left. On first and ten, here's Baker. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. There was tight coverage all across the field. I think the quarterback thought he had the arm strength to fit this one into a pretty small window, but the defense wasn't having it. They were all over it, and I think the quarterback actually got away with one there. Throwing on second down, Mayfield. And that's going to wind up incomplete. Pressure certainly impacted the quarterback there. Couldn't get his arm all the way through. And it's going to bring up a third down. The relationship between the pass rush and the pass coverage is critical. The better you rush the passer, the more pressure you can take off your coverage. And that's a great example why. They send Godwin in motion. From the gun on third down, it's Mayfield. He'll find his running back, White. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So Chase McLaughlin will come in and they'll try a field goal. This about as short as you can get. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Bucks can attack on three more, extending the lead here late in the first half. So we've reached halftime here, and the visiting Buccaneers have the advantage. As we'll head down the coast now to Orlando. That's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports. Halftime report. Coach. All right, Michael, thanks very much as we welcome you into our downtown Orlando studios and the EA Sports Halftime Report. These two teams leaving the tunnel, and we'll head out with them. It's time to send it back over to Mike Tirico and Greg Olson. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. He fields it at the 8. He's across the 20, taken down just shy of the 25. The Panthers' offense ready to get going again. They'll have it first in this third quarter. The deficit is at 10, so an important drive forthcoming. Getting started with first and 10. Tremble comes in motion. To throw is Dalton. A short one there, caught by Tremble. And they're going to mark him down up past the 35. Following the completion, we'll get a stoppage here for an injured player. As the athletic training staff looks at him, we'll step away for a moment. So, from the 36, it is first and 10. Ball. Ball. 
Now it's Dalton. That into the hands of Hubbard. Call it a gain of 13. It's a Carolina first down. You get so caught up defending all of these weapons all over the field, and it's sometimes really easy to forget about the back. And in this case, the quarterback does a nice job just dropping the ball off in his check down, and he lets him do the rest. They'll motion over Thielen. Throwing, Dalton. That's to the rookie from South Carolina, Xavier Leggett. Here's second and three to go. Dalton working from the pistol. Catch made right side by Thomas. He's going to be taken down at about the 30. Initially, when the quarterback looked his tight end's way, I thought he had a chance for a big pickup. He had nice separation there early. But let's give credit to the defense. They were able to rally quickly to the ball and keep that from being an even bigger game. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Here's Dalton. And that is incomplete. But now a penalty flag comes in late. He might have been caught with his hands in the cookie jar. They'll run it here with Hubbard. And he'll take this forward for about three. It's second down. They'll go again with Hubbard. And he'll only manage to pick up three yards. And that leads to third down. Dalton. Oh, he's going to be bottled up and taken down. They got him. When you can win so fast as an edge rusher, you put so much pressure on the quarterback to speed everything up. He can sense that pressure coming either from his front or backside. It either speeds up and leads to an errant throw, or in this case, it leads to a sack. Eddie Pinheiro going to come on to try a field goal now. It'll be a 44-yard attempt. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Panthers are able to get it back within a score. And I can tell you firsthand, Mike, when you find yourself trailing in a game, you don't feel very good about coming away with field goals. But in this case, it does get them a little bit closer and cut into this deficit. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. This one taken at the 7. A good return as he takes it across the 30. The Buccaneers offense and Baker Mayfield ready for their next possession. Eddie has been in control of this offense. Want to run you through some of the action from earlier on. He's got the two touchdown passes, over 200 passing yards, he has been excellent all game long.
Here's first and ten. On the ground, it's White. And a good run there. Going to get him five yards. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. They put a receiver in motion to the left. On second down, Baker... That's caught left side by Otten. And they'll get him down after a gain of five, but that is enough for a first down. This play is actually really well defended here, but I'll tell you, Mike, as you know, my philosophy is the tight end is always open, and this just supports my case. They sent Godwin in motion. On first down is Mayfield. To the left side to Godwin. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. They'll come to the line now on second and two. Now, whistles here. Looks like one of the defenders... Got a head start. They'll motion a tight end right. Mayfield to throw it here on first down. With the middle of the field, he's got Evans. And he's going to be taken down at about the 30. On play action, Mayfield. Oh, the blitz gets there quickly, and down he goes. The veteran, Jadavian Clowney, still at it, and he still has it. He gets the sack. Clowney comes up with the big sack, and you can make an argument, Mike, that he's coming off his best season of his career. Nine and a half sacks just a year ago. Now he's back home in the Carolinas, where he's already making his presence felt. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. From the gun, it's Mayfield. There's that man again. Another catch. Really nice timing on that slant route. You can tell the quarterback and the wide receiver are completely on the same page. And when executed at that level, it's virtually impossible to stop. They come to the line needing 11 here on third down. Out of the shotgun, Mayfield. That's caught. It's Evans. And they are in great shape. He's taken down inside the 10. From six yards out, it's first and goal. Throwing is Mayfield. And that's going to wind up uncatchable out of the back of the end zone. It's incomplete. He was trying to fit that one in to Mike Evans. And it'll be second and goal. He'll run over center with White. Looking for a seam, but will not find one. He'll take this down to the four-yard line.
third and goal. Here's Mayfield. And he's going to be dropped. They get to him back at the 15-yard line. The defensive coaches, they preached all week, Mike. They have to have relentless pursuit of this quarterback when he tries to extend the play. So often it results in a great play for the offense and a big pickup. This time, because of that pursuit, it leads to a big loss. So Chase McLaughlin will come in and they'll try a field goal. This just a little more than a chip shot. 32 yard attempt. McLaughlin's kick is good. And the Buccaneers add on to their lead. So anytime an offense comes off the field after settling for three, you always have to take the good with the bad. In order to get down there in field goal range, you had to do something positive to move the ball. But at the same time, how are we going to be able to finish these drives and convert for six the next time we get down there? Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Here comes a return from the five. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. Here's the Carolina offense now as they head out to take over for their next possession. They'll see if they can put something together here, beginning with first and ten. This drive begins with a run by Hubbard. And he'll be tackled up around the 45-yard line. Finding yourself down here multiple scores in the second half, the defense is going to give you some friendly run looks. So don't be afraid to mix it in there. But if you're going to find yourself coming back from this deficit, you're going to have to do it primarily through the air with just a little bit of mix of the run. Now Dalton. This one hauled in by Thomas. And he's not going to get too far tackled after a gain of just a yard. Here's a handoff to Hubbard. He is met and dropped. Good defense. Loss of a couple on that play. These are the impact plays that this linebacker is capable of, Mike. Not only dissecting and determining where the ball was going, but then to shoot through the line of scrimmage and make this tackle for a loss. That's a big-time play by a really good player. Dalton to throw. That is caught. He finds his big target again. They get 16 on that connection. It's good for a Panther first down. They'll look to throw. Downfield, it's Johnson. A gain there of 24 yards. It's a Carolina first down. In the red zone now, he'll drop to throw. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete.
He'll try again here. Second and ten. Back to the air one more time. And that ball in and out of his hands. It is incomplete. Might tell you after the game he should have come up with that one. He doesn't. And now third down comes up. To throw is Dalton. That's caught over the middle by Thomas. And he will not quite get to the marker. Good job there defensively. And now, decision time. What are you going to do on fourth down? Now, it's Dalton. It is brought in in the end zone. Deontay Johnson, touchdown Carolina. Greg, I love the precision on that play. Very little time, very confined space, and they come through with the touchdown. And it's the accuracy of the throw, Mike, that protects his receiver. Everything down here near the goal line is so condensed. You understand you're gonna be thrown into tight windows, but when you trust your quarterback to protect you with the ball placement, it gives you a lot more confidence going across the middle of the field and, in this case, pays off for a touchdown. Now, Pinheiro to add on the extra point. It's up and through. And the Panthers are back within a field goal. The lead is three. The kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away now return coming from the seven and he'll be brought down right around the 25 yard line the Buccaneers offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more and he has been a nightmare to scheme against throughout this one this defense has been picked apart that is borne out in those impressive numbers he has been terrific all game long. From the 25, they'll go to work. First and 10. They go play action with Mayfield. Oh, the blitz overwhelming the offensive line, and down he goes. They probably would have been better off just handing the ball off to the running back, Mike, because when they used him as a decoy, nobody fell for it. By the time he finished his fake and got his head around, the defense was all over him. in motion heading left throwing on second down Mayfield they'll set up the screen to White and it'll be brought down as we tick towards the end of this third quarter so we are through three back with more after the break you're tuned in to the NFL on EA Sports This crowd into it now as we get to third down. Here comes Otten in motion. From the gun on third down. The blitz gets there and he lost the football. Oh, one of his teammates is there to pick it up. 
After these kind of plays, Mike, you just wish the sideline was a mile away because you know when you get there, you are going to catch an earful. They stress all week, ball carriers, we have to protect the ball. In this case, it doesn't result in a turnover, but the lost yardage now brings up fourth down. These are drive killers. And a short field awaits. Fair catch taken on this side of midfield. The home team's offense and their running back getting set for this next possession. And he has put in a full game's work and then some. Just an incredible performance on the ground to this point in the fourth quarter. Set to go now on first and ten. They'll stick to the ground. Here's second and nine. Throwing, Dalton. That's deep for the back of the end zone. And this throw out of the back of the end zone. It's incomplete. So, of course, you prefer to connect on that throw. But think about it like this, Mike. The more they continue to test this defense downfield, the more it's going to open up some of those shorter passes underneath. Big play coming up. This is third down. The motion man is Johnson. And on third down, that ball incomplete. Every so often, Mike, you can see these offenses and it looks like the passing game gets a little bit too predictable. And as the defense continues to flood the back end of these zones with extra defenders, they're continuing to force this quarterback to not only make some difficult throws, but to put the ball in harm's way. And this is going to work out for him. Out of bounds and they'll mark it inside the 10. The visitors offense and their quarterback headed out for their next possession. And this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag. Nothing they have tried to throw at him has been successful. He just processes things so quickly, making the right read seemingly every time. Here comes Otten in motion. On first and ten, here's Baker. He'll tuck it and take off. Nothing open here downfield. I think it's a good job just getting to the edge, getting something positive, getting out of bounds. Here's a second and six. One of the tight ends, motions right. A second down throw from Mayfield. Get this complete right side to Otten. A gain there of 10 yards. Good for a Buccaneers first down. A lot could go wrong anytime you decide to put the ball in the air here late in the fourth quarter as you're trying to run out the clock and protect this lead. But at the same time, I like that they haven't gone super concerned. Just hand off right, hand off left, and it just turns into tackling practice. So I like the balance of making the defense defend everything because right now, possess the ball, protect the ball, and ultimately just run the clock out. And up until this point, this has been an incredibly efficient game from this quarterback. I mean, it's hard to think here we are in the second half, and that's only his second incomplete pass. So finally, the defense is able to do something to disrupt his timing and finally try to get him out of this groove. A whole lot of chances on that one. It was bouncing around, but it falls incomplete. Initially, a nice job by the receiver. He actually was open downfield. He was able to get behind the defense, but the window closed up so quickly they couldn't get the ball to him. Prevents the big play. Mayfield to throw. 
taking off. He'll try to get there. That's a great job defensively. Even though they let him escape the rush initially, there was nowhere to go with either their ball or as a runner, and they're able to force fourth down. Kicking time for the Bucks. They'll punch it away. And he's going to be brought down after a short return. And that's where his team will get possession of the football. The home team's offense makes their way back out to the field for their next possession. This one has been tight so far. A field goal separating the two sides as this drive kicks off with first and ten. They'll motion over Thielen. Here's Dalton. It's to the right side and corralled by Thielen. They'll come up here on second down and five. They'll run here. And he's going to have the first down. Mark him at the 45 and move the chains. They send a receiver in motion left. Dalton. Catch made right side by Thomas. And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. Look him up on a second down and eight. They'll motion the tight end, Thomas. Back to throw. Right back to Thomas. He's got it again. And they're going to move this ball inside the 25-yard line. As this game continues to come down to the wire, Mike, it just reminds us, this is where quarterbacks earn their keep. You are judged by how you play in these critical moments. In fourth quarter, down a score, it doesn't get much bigger than this. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. Off the play fake. He'll look to throw. He'll be hit as he throws, and that one will wind up incomplete. Could not step into the throw that time. It'll bring up second down. This has really been the story of this entire game, Mike. I mean, this pass rush has had the advantage over the offense pretty much from the jump, and... They've already recorded a couple of sacks, a handful of close calls, and it's the pressure in the backfield is why this team finds themselves with the lead. And he's into the end zone. Cuba Hubbard, touchdown, Panthers. He had the touchdown run earlier, now add a TD reception. So often these defenses come into the game, Mike, and when they build their pass defense plan, there's tight ends, there's receivers. There's so many weapons that these offenses around the league have at their disposal. It could be easy sometimes to not account for the running back out of the backfield, and that's exactly what happened here. Easy throw, get it into the hands of one of the most dynamic guys on the field and let them do the rest after the catch, and he takes it in for a touchdown. So now playing with the lead after that fourth quarter touchdown, 
Time to kick it back the other way. This field in at about the nine. Nice job on the return. He's down close to the 35-yard line. The visitor's offense and the wideout getting set to go once more. They'll try to establish some tempo as they start this one with first and ten. They send Godwin in motion. Mayfield to throw it here on first down. This one caught left side by Evans. He's over 100 receiving yards on the afternoon now. And a first down to boot. You don't want to make a living off of making these kind of throws, Mike. It's one thing to throw into tight coverage, but it's another thing to throw into tight double coverage. And while the quarterback gets away with one here, I don't think you want to make a living doing it. They'll run. It'll be stacked up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. Defensive coaches preach every day, Mike, swarm to the ball. Get as many hats to the ball carrier as possible. And this is a great reason why. The ball carrier is able to make the first guy miss, but it was the pursuit from the rest of the defense that's able to get him down and keep him to no gain. They'll put one of the tight ends in motion. They'll keep it on the ground. He'll manage only about three, so it will bring up third down. From the gun, it's Mayfield. That one complete. It's the tight end, Otten. And he will have the first down. The drive will continue after a pickup of eight. I just love the feel this tight end has, Mike, for the defense when they play zone coverage. His ability to find open space and be friendly for the quarterback. It's easier said than done. Certain guys, they want to run routes like their lines on a piece of paper, and they end up going from uncovered space to covered space, but not the case here. He knew he was open. He knew he was in the right spot. He stayed open. The quarterback delivered a good ball. They pick up 17 through the air. It's a first down for Tampa Bay. It's pretty evident, Mike, when a quarterback and his wide receiver are operating on the exact same page. The anticipation, the timing, the accuracy of the, both the route and the ball. And when they're working together like this, that's the definition of teach tape. They send Godwin in motion. They feel to throw on first and 10. And he'll get about eight on that one. Most of it coming after the catch. It's second down. Out of the shotgun, Mayfield. And they'll get him down after a gain of five, but that is enough for a first down. Motion man set right. On first down is Mayfield. And he's going to be taken down. That's a really important pickup there on that last completion. Not only does it set up first and goal, but allows everybody in the huddle to just take a deep breath. We're no longer in this frantic offensive possession. Let's get our best play. Let's make sure everyone understands what to do because we know we need to finish this off with six if we can. And now being first and goal is going to go a long way in allowing that to be possible. The defense had their sights set on making a big play one way or another. First, it was the initial pressure. They thought they had the quarterback for a sack, but then they get their hands on the ball, and I think if you're this offense walking back into the huddle, Mike, an incomplete pass there is probably the best possible outcome. On second down, Baker. 
That one, take it in, middle of the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Greg, it's the quarterback's best friend, and you were that guy for a lot of years. The tight end in a tight area with man coverage. Yeah, and it's really twofold, Mike, right? First and foremost, we see so many of these tight ends around the league that now have gotten to the point where one-on-one -on -one matchups, that's advantage offense. But then even in the cases they don't create great separation, Mike, it's their size, their catch radius. It's such a friendly target for the quarterback that when things get tight in the red zone, they look to the tight end. McLaughlin, good on the extra point. And the Buccaneers go up by a field goal as they lead it by three. So now playing with the lead after that fourth quarter touchdown. Time to kick it back the other way. Here comes a return from the three. And it'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. The home team's offense ready to take over once again. They'll do so with first and ten. Now Dalton. A very quick throw there, but not on the same page with his target. That's incomplete. We'll try again. It's second and ten. Dalton to throw. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. Quarterback's lucky on that one, Mike, that that ball ended up just harmlessly falling to the ground. It was that initial pressure that got to him that forced the Aaron throw. And fortunately for this offense, that ball didn't end up going the other way. Two incompletions to start the drive. And it leads to third down and 10. He'll look to throw. Who else? Another catch for his favorite target. Hunting time for the Panthers. Set to kick this one away. They'll be forced to punt, trailing here in the fourth quarter. This brought in out past the 20. And he'll get forward a few yards on the return. And that's where the offense will take over. The veteran Mike Evans, he's heading back out onto the field with the rest of the Tampa Bay offense. And he's looking to finish strong. He has been unquestionably the star of the show as they have just absolutely had no answer on the defensive side of the ball. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. Here comes Otten in motion. Throwing is Mayfield. And the rush gets home. He'll go down. They got him. And the big guys up front in the offensive line just continue to not be on the same page. And we've seen it time and time again here today. This pass rush remains one step ahead of them. And it's the quarterback who continues to pay the price. One of the tight ends in motion right. Play clock has expired. We're not going to get this one off on top.
Baker going to hand it to White. And he'll be taken down as the clock ticks towards two minutes to play. Third and long. On third down, it's White. Uh-huh. And they will finally get him down, but not before he's able to take this up near the 40-yard line. First down, right back to White. And he'll be marked down at the 45-yard line. And now we'll get a timeout by the defense. So the clock stops with a minute 50 left in the game. A tight end in motion now. Another run here with White. The Panthers, they're going to burn their third and final timeout. And they'll get together prior to this second down play. go again with White and he's going to be swallowed up again back-to-back -back runs back-to-back -back losses now it is third down you know at this point the defense has to sell out and stop the run you know exactly what the offense is trying to get accomplished by keeping the ball on the ground but now the question remains are they willing to take some risk here and put the ball in the air on third down or do they play it safe and keep running the clock by keeping the ball on the ground this isn't going to work out much better either. Stop right at the line of scrimmage this time. No gain, tough sequence, and that brings up fourth down. Well, maybe he's counting a little bit, Mike, on this defense being in pass mode, and maybe you can catch him off guard with the run call. In this case, the defense was ready for all of it. They hold them to no gain. They're going to have to bring out the punt team. The Buccaneers getting their puncher out there as he'll punch it away for the fourth time today. And we will not have a return here. This one angle out of bounds. The Panthers offense ready to get back to work. They'll begin inside their own 15-yard line. So a lot of real estate to cover. It's first and 10. They'll drop to throw. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. They'll try again here. It's second and ten. To throw is Dalton. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Now, a big third down. Now, it's Dalton. He'll let it go deep left sideline. That is incomplete, so the task gets more difficult. Time for maybe two plays. That's it. And that's what you call a wasted series. They come out here and they decide, we're just going to air it out. First, second, third down. All three incompletions. And now it brings up fourth down. And 
barring some crazy decision here to keep your offense on the field, you're going to find yourself right back on the sideline. And that is incomplete. They had their chance. He took it there. Look, they're trailing late. Got to let it fly. This will wind up a turnover on down. And it all came down to that play. The offense finds themselves trailing all out of their timeouts. The defense knew they were one stop away from ending this game, and they came up big when their team needed it. Victory formation here as he's down to a knee. that'll do it for my partner Greg Olson for our entire team I'm Mike Tirico this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports so long everybody